All right, David Drape here from Drape's Creations, doing another diorama, quick diorama tutorial, I should say. And today we're going to be learning about graffiti. Now I know a lot of people do graffiti out there, and they tend to use the the marker, the chalk markers. Um, I like them. I don't see anything wrong with them, but I'm going to show you a different way how to do that today. So let's get to it. Wow. As you can see here, I have some graffiti up already on my Tech Noir diorama that I've been working on for a little bit now. And uh, it was fun. I looked up uh, some Japanese uh, characters and uh, put the lettering on here. That's a Akira. That's a, that says bitch. Um, I can't remember what these say. I don't know exactly what they say. Um, they're from uh, some set photos that I saw of uh, Blade Runner. But um, I thought it would be fun to include these. Uh, this is from that uh, cyberpunk video game. But it's also, uh, I don't know if most people know this or not, but it's also a throwback to um, uh, Keanu Reeves' character he played in Johnny Mnemonic, which was also a cyberpunk movie from the uh, early 90s, a while back. Guato Lives from um, uh, Total Recall. All kinds of fun stuff in here. Tech Noir from uh, Terminator. Uh, so, uh, those were done with chalk painted on. Uh, what I do is I'll pull out a, a finer paintbrush like that, and then I'll pull out my, my pastels. So, I'll use my pastels. You can use even chalk from the dollar store. Uh, it would do the same thing that I'm doing right here. So I'm going to take my, I got a little cup here right here of water, and get my paintbrush nice and saturated, and then I'm going to dip it, or I should say smear it right onto, right onto the chalk right there, right onto the pastel. And I'm going to kind of push a little hard with my brush, and what that's going to do is it's going to create like a slurry. A nice thick slurry with the chalk and the water and it becomes pigment. See a nice thick amount on there and that's how I did the little heart right there and that's how I did the little um, flower right there. So let's see, so uh, I should I should do something really quick, let's see, let's do, let's do a nice bright color, right, yeah? I got, I got Drape, that's, that's my last name up here, in bright colors, so I, I don't need to put that on there. My son Leo right here was done with a fine tip, a fine tip permanent marker. That's the Leo and Sid were done with those. So it was the Where's Johnny and the Lucas were done with the permanent um, fine tip marker or pen, I should say. And then the Quato lives and the outlining of the um, the heart right here were done with the felt tip sharpie. So there's just many different ways for you to be able to do graffiti. Um, but like I said, let's go ahead and uh, I'll show you right now what it looks like to, to do something. And let's see, I want to pull a nice bright color. Um, I got some white on there, I got some reds. What I want to try to do is use a different color for this one that I haven't used yet on here. I got this green right here. Why don't we do some more green? Yeah, some more green sounds good. Okay, so I got my brush nice and wet. I'm trying to create that slurry right here. As you can see, it's already starting to do it really well because uh, the brush I'm using is a little bit, uh, a little bit thicker. So it's getting, uh, it's getting that slurry nice and quick. So we got a nice, thick slurry worked up right here. And let's see, let's pick a spot where, where would something look like it would go? Hmm. Yeah. 
How about this? Well, oops. And that's the fun part about the chalk is I can get that to clean off very easily. In a little bit. We'll come, we'll come back and fix that. Okay. Let me get some more water. Because I just covered all that. Okay. 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 So... Whoop. Can't really see that green too good right, right now at least. Once it's dry, we'll do a little something else on there. Okay, so we'll be tagging up a little pot leaf in that corner right there. Just for funsies. Oops. And I always keep a always keep a cup of water nice close by. Put my brushes in while I'm not working on them. Really quick, let me show you how to. I got a clean brush right here, so I'm gonna take that clean brush, dip a corner of it in water, then I'm gonna run that water over the brush, get uh, using my hand to get it all over the brush, and make sure my brush is nice and clean. And then I'm gonna take that spot where I got the chalk on earlier, and I'm actually just going to wiggle the brush around, and it's, as you can see, it's already lifted up that chalk that was there and then I also a little bit of it right here in this corner so now I'm just gonna wiggle it around and that takes the chalk off of the areas that I don't want them to be in. I got a little bit on the city of Detroit spot right there. Okay so now I've got that nice and clean I don't really need that brush right now but as you can see I got that that's drying once it's dry I'll, I'll show you a neat little trick but first, what I want to do is I want to show you another neat trick because like I was saying, there's many different ways of doing graffiti. Uh, one of the other ways that I've done it was uh, something like this where it was larger graffiti. Now for an area like this where I'm going to cover a large area, what I would do is I would take out, I would take out my buck knife, grab a piece the chalk. and start to shave off the chalk and I got a little cuppy right here that I'm catching the, the shavings in and it, be, it becomes a powder and what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this with just a tiny bit of water and it's going to become really thick paste so let's go ahead and show you what that looks like really quick I'll grab my, I'll grab my red brush because you can see there is red on here already, so I'm just going to go ahead and reuse that brush because I'm just taking water and adding it to it. So let's just go ahead and just add a little bit from this cuppy because it'll be faster. I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. So now I've got that in there. I'm going to start to mix that around. And it's going to create the same slurry that I would if I was mixing the water or uh, mushing the water onto the chalk itself. So now I've got a nice thick slurry and a lot of it ready to go. So I can just keep going and not have to worry about, oh, I gotta take the water, wiggle, 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 create the slurry, come over here, wiggle, 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 create the slurry. Now I've got a nice chunk of slurry ready to go. And what I can do right here, oh, I didn't do that on the heart. Let me show you this really neat effect. Uh, so I'm, I've got the my brush saturated. I'm gonna take my brush. I'm gonna flick. I'm gonna flick some of this graffiti or uh, some of this chalk paint pigment <laughs> onto right here, making it kind of look like it, it um, the spray can. Did a little spritz right there. See it? 
trying to think of like where where would the spray can kind of pfft if the as the artist was quickly getting that on there. Um, so that's a little something extra that I add to to my dio as I'm working on it. I, I, I just like the way that it looks. I think it makes it, the graffiti look just a little bit more realistic. I'm gonna pull out my green and do the same thing with that green really quick and show you. So I've got this one, I just need a little bit of it, so I'm gonna go back to just using the water straight on the pastel. Create that slurry. There we go, I got enough of it on there. So now I'm gonna try to come in and very finely flick that onto there. Try my best not to get it spread out on too many other places. Like I don't really want it spread out all over my background right here. I got a little bit of it on there, but easily, easily wipes away with my thumb as I'm going along. And then that's basically that's done right there. So uh, I got that. So let's move on, and I'll show you really quick. When you're using this fine tip one, you need to go over it a couple times with what you're writing. Um, let's see, where's there we go. a spot right here so as I'm as I'm writing my lettering and you also got to think too as you're writing your lettering is it thick enough is it going to register so now I'm just gonna get this down on here guess I should have picked a different spot <laughs> it's, not, it's not as nice as the other ones. Let's see. I think it's my my marker might be going out because I'm using it not at an angle. There we go. That's better. That's a much better angle. Much better. Okay. I'm just gonna steal this away. I'm having some trouble with this, but that's okay. Let's let's switch to that's that's a nice thing because you'll see I'm having problems here. I really want to get this on here, so I'm gonna switch to my felt, and that that'll that'll happen sometimes as you're working. Oh, the this isn't. Um, the chalk might not stick, or your sticker that you're putting on might not stick, or um, right here in this case, the ink wasn't coming out right. So I switched to a different marker to hopefully rectify the, the problem. And so far, so good. But you can also see how much thicker the lining is, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. this really quick and I'll put a little something on the door there we go so you can see And there we go, that little dude looking at you. <laughs> okay, so I've shown you a few different ways to be able to do your graffiti. Oh yes, let's, uh, let's pop back over here really quick and I'll show you how to outline it. So I've got my chalk on there, my chalk has dried. So now I'm just gonna come up and quickly throw some lines in here. Just to detail it a little bit more, make it look a little bit nicer. There we 
you go. And some of the chalk will come off on your felt. Just go like that with your finger. You don't have to do them this way, but if you'd like to, it's a little bit easier. You can use uh, chalk from the dollar store, you can use uh, pastels like I was using, um, and paintbrushes. I, I tend to use a different paintbrush for each color. Um, I, I use the finer paintbrushes when I'm doing my graffiti, um, especially when I'm doing smaller writing like in here. Um, make sure that when you are doing writing like this, that you switch to a finer tip marker. All right, well, thanks for stopping by. I hope you got a little something out of it. I had a lot of fun doing it. Until next time, check you later. Drapes Creations. Ah.